I've got to an international blacksmith festival, a really big one. There were famous craftsmen from all around the world. Well, after I visited it and saw all that, I came back, just couldn't wait to be back in Kharkiv, and, and that was it. I saw myself as a smith. That's when I decided that I would be doing that for sure. At first, when we got together for the first time and decided to be in this business, Alexei told me, I have a forge in the basement with a smith's forge, hammer and hammer and anvil, and I know how to make axes and knives. So I said that it was great, and I knew a little something about selling things. And that was actually, it was pure enthusiasm. We had no master plan right away or super strategy of any kind. We had nothing. But being in this process, communicating with Alexei more and more often, little by little, we started to develop the vision of where we were going. I realized I had to move further. I just thought, why should I study something with someone else's help? I must choose the hardest way, to figure everything out by myself and make it as I understand it, through trial and error to come up with something of your own. We really love Slavic culture, I mean our forefathers, and we decided, well, Swarok is the god of smiths, the protector of smiths, and there are many legends about Swarok that are associated with smiths. So we decided to take this name. Alexei had already had a forge called Swarozic. When we were opening a shop on that side, I told him, Alexei, Swarozic, this is your name, and we have to think of something common for us. But we didn't think for too long and decided to take what appeared on the surface. We are from Kharkiv, and we are Forge, a Forge from Kharkiv, down. So we named our shop on Etsy Kharkiv Forge. And so, forging an axe, we didn't know what it would look like in the end. But we wanted to make one that would just kick it. We faced all possible difficulties. Lack of experience, confusion about where to buy materials, what material we needed which was better for the product. We had no experience in practically every process. These issues were being solved through trial and error. I mean, we make an item and start, for example, testing it. Having sharpened it, we begin to test it for strength. The age breaks and we understand that something is not right. We understand that we have done something wrong and remake it until we reach the result needed. And we are moving through all processes this way. By the way, we have this knife left by chance. This is what we have started with. It was the first listing we posted in our shop. And so, the first order came. I received a message, your item is sold. And I was like, wow, our first order, finally. Only one week passed and we received the first order. And I was like, this is cool. I will give Alexei a call tomorrow and tell him that the first item has been sold. It was a bliss when we received the first absolutely positive review. That's what I will remember for the rest of my life. This person felt happy like a kid. And what else we often get as a feedback is that our items look much cooler in real life than they do on pictures. They are amazed by this when they open their packages and see that the items are much cooler than what they have seen on photos. That's why we have decided to make everything manually even though it's the 21st century and that is what makes us different. 
We are ready to design and make an item that would be specially created for our customers and their needs. We decided that we need a name that would be simpler, but more sense-bearing. Our new name is Fadir Tools, which means Father's Tool. It makes a lot of sense to us, and it really fits those goals we want to achieve, and those values we want to carry in the future, and which we carry now. This name is associated with every grandfather or father who used to work with some kind of tools. And we all remember those moments in our childhood. These are such sweet moments for all of us. And since we are making this tool, we would love that a father would teach his son how to use it. The son would teach his son, and this would continue through many generations. The main ideas man on tools and all the items we make is Alexei. The ideas come to me this way. First, Sergey and I, we make a decision that we want to promote this kind of tool. Well, for example, a carpentry tool. What we do is we are going to our regions. What was at the very beginning at all? How this topic was developing and how it has been modernized in order to understand it. We take the best of it and we make a tool according to the requirements which craftsmen have today. The main purpose of our tools is to make the final product which holds a sharp cutting edge for a long time and is able to cut really well. That's why we always try to consult with professionals with those who have been on this market at length. We consult with Ukrainian professionals, for example, on heat treatment. They tell us which material will fit our requirements after hardening and sharpening. So, this is how we ended up using the materials that we do now. This steel for cutting tools and chisels just super cool. With the right heat treatment, it holds the edge for a very long time and makes the correct high-quality cut. Searching for opinion leaders, for professionals and communicating with them. We have many cases when our relationships with clients developed in the way that many of them became our dealers and distributors. We have started working in collaboration, created a line of tools that we sell successfully. I had a chance with Sergey to produce a line of carving tools um, where I would be able to um, keep doing what I'm doing and still get exactly the tools that I wanted based on my experience um, to the hobbyists out there, to the people out there who really want to carve. Now we have a whole line of axes. There's the Karelia, um, which is added, and um, a whole line of, of carving tools from um, five different types of hooks so far, two different types of sweat knives. Um, I think so far it's like six or seven different types of gouges, throws. It's been incredible so far and I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of that team. Um, it's turning into a partnership really, a friendship. Um, I'm not sure what's still to come. It's pretty incredible. We've been working together for two years now. And within the last 10 months, I think, we have thrown all of these tools on the market, um, thorough testing, lots of prototypes, um, always a helping hand, always good communication from Fadir. And um, yeah, I don't know what's still to come, but I think we're not done yet.
is important to us to make a good quality correct tool for specific tasks of this tool. We seek for perfect quality, a kind what when you hold your tool in your arm, you are feeling proud of it. Not only thanks to our skills or desire to get knowledge, but thanks to our clients as well. Because every client has taught us something. Someone asked us to make a different sharpening angle, someone asked us to make a more wedge-shaped X, and in this way we were learning and receiving knowledge from our clients, and our clients were always satisfied. We don't want to produce tools very quickly, as because of that we might lose our quality. We are working on producing our tools for optimistically not longer than a month now. A month as maximum. It takes a bit longer at the moment, but we want to set the time limit. Not longer than a month. A custom order, any personalized order is just something new and exciting. If we have never done that before, then this would be a real challenge for us, because all our products, roughly speaking, are encouraged by the challenge. This is our thing, so to speak. Any client should be satisfied. That means we would fight for this, spend our time and money persistently, but we will get the result that our client needs. Our clients help us to progress and we try to thank them with the quality tools. We were contacted by Woodsman's Finest and he offered us to make an X for him. We made it and he said it was a disaster. Then we continued to remodel it for a whole year. After a year we made a perfect X. And he liked it and we did it too. But that year was very hard. We just had reproduced a certain number of axes which we threw away, but we were able to give him what he needed. We are motivated in the interest in this order itself. Can we do this? Because this is very difficult. And sometimes, Sometimes we don't understand what this is and what it is supposed to be. This is what sparks the interest. And then you understand that if you say, I can't do it, it's not about us. We should thank our clients as they are our teachers indeed. Our professionalism grows because of them, and we are ready to make whatever each person wants to have. The plan for the future is to create an international platform where the craftsmen from all over the world would have gathered, shared the experience, where we could pass our knowledge if someone is interested in this. It's really important to us to have feedback from all the craftsmen, from those who would be interested to start this. It is highly important to unite this craft and make something global of it. We need a hub to tell people that there is nothing shameful in working with your hands. The hub where we could have been teaching the kids some craft, starting from the age when they are capable of understanding it. And when we were telling people all that, they were staring at us like we were crazy and probably thought that we were just some idiots, two stupid dreamers. Our task is to make tools of high quality for craftsmen by craftsmen. In particular, talking about our forge, we bring to life tools that spread all over the world. There were many times when people texted us to say that they had purchased an axe to pass it to their sons. They said, now I have a two-year-old kid whom I want to pass this axe to. It would be our family heirloom. When you do a hand labor, create something, you gain emotion from this, become alive. The person grows, become a craftsman, a master. This person's products are known all over the world. And we take part in this, making the tool. We should make good stuff for people. We should understand that people like us are needed. 
Because here's the connection. You pass something to someone, not just doing something without any sense.